Hi everyone, Rob here from the Mishimoto Engineering Facility. If you haven't already, subscribe to our YouTube channel and like us on Facebook for more exclusive content. Today, we're going to install our baffled oil catch can on your 2016 Plus Camaro. This installation is a snap, so we'll be done in no time. Let's get started. Tools required for installation are a 10 millimeter deep socket, 13 millimeter deep socket, six inch 3 8 drive extension, a 3 8 drive ratchet, 11 16 inch wrench, 2.5 millimeter Allen key, a panel tool, and a flathead screwdriver. Installation time is under 30 minutes and installation difficulty is a two out of five. Complete removal of the engine cover is not required to install the PCV hoses. However, this is a quick step and it makes it easier to get to the hose connections. Unclip the locking tabs on the clamps that secure the fuel line to the center engine cover and lift the fuel line out of the clamps. Remove the black Camaro covers by lifting from the edges. These covers are secured by two grommets and two tabs which slip into the valve cover. Unscrew and remove the four posts that secure the central engine cover using a 10 millimeter socket. Disconnect the sensor located on the driver's side of the central engine cover by depressing the locking tab and sliding the connector apart. At this point, you can access the PCV hoses by lifting the cover upwards. If you find that access is still too tight, remove the central engine cover completely. To remove the cover completely, disengage the eight tree clips that secure the wiring harness to the central engine cover and lift it out of the way. Disconnect the PCV hose from the engine by depressing the gray tab on the hose connector and pulling the hose straight off the port. There are two locking connectors on this hose. Then completely remove the hose from the engine bay. Install the fittings onto the catch can. Both fittings are identical. Do not over tighten them. Simply snug the fittings with an 11 16 wrench. Install the catch can bracket onto the catch can. Mount the bracket so the flange with the large bolt holes is lower than the top of the catch can. Loosen the 10 millimeter bolt that secures the strut tower brace to the firewall of the vehicle. This will allow the strut brace to move, making it easier to align the bolts for installation. Completely remove the two 13 millimeter bolts which attach the strut tower brace to the strut tower on the driver's side. Lower the catch can into place and install using the two 13 millimeter bolts you just removed. Tighten down the 10 millimeter bolt that secures the strut tower brace to the firewall of the vehicle. Locate the hose with the 45 degree bend on the clamp side. Route this hose underneath the crankcase breather hose and engine wiring harness. Then press the fitting end onto the port at the engine below the throttle body. You will hear a click when it is engaged. Attach the clamp end of this hose to the port marked in on the catch can. Locate the silicone hose with a 90 degree bend on the clamp end. This is the end without a quick disconnect fitting. Route this hose underneath the crankcase breather hose and engine wiring harness. Then press the fitting end onto the port at the throttle body. You will hear a click when it is engaged. Attach the clamp end of this hose to the port marked out on the catch can. Tighten both clamps on the hoses connected to the catch can using a flathead screwdriver. With all the hoses attached, align the catch can so the hoses flow smoothly and tighten down the Allen key bolts that secure it to the bracket. Reinstall the central engine cover and secure it with the four 10 millimeter posts. Reinstall the eight tree clips that secure the wiring harness to the engine cover. Push the fuel line down into the clamps on the central engine cover and engage the locking tabs. Reconnect the electrical harness to the sensor on the driver's side of the central engine cover. Reinstall the outer engine covers by aligning the tabs with the valve cover and pushing the grommets down over the posts. Now that you have the catch can installed on your Camaro, double check your hose connections and ensure that the can is firmly screwed onto the lid. Then fire it up for a test drive. It's a good idea to check the can every thousand miles until you have a baseline for oil accumulation. Be sure to click subscribe before you head out. 